All right, so I do get off asked a lot, quite a bit, why I have so many tools and, and what happens if I lose them, somebody steals them, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go through a list of tools that I would buy or I pretty much can do all the work that I need to. And it also begs the question, why do you have so many tools if this is all the tools you need to do all the work you need to? There goes into it, uh, there's, there's a lot that goes into it, but I'll get into that after I go through these sets of tools. All right, guys, let's start off. Obviously, we're gonna need to cut stuff. So you're gonna see a lot of the bigger tools in my inventory that I don't have here because they're a luxury and I could get by without them. But at the same time, yeah, I don't have a track saw on this list because I could get by with it. But once you have one, you realize that you love it and you're probably just, you're never gonna be without it. So, but it is, I just, it, it's not on this list because you had, I, I gotta buy it without it for a while. So. We're gonna go with a regular table saw, which is obviously my table saw. You got your dual bevel compound miter saw, and I will include in this list my Polk workstation because absolutely a necessity for me. I've got multiple videos. I might link them in the description here, but build yourself one. They are absolutely worth it. Having the miter or having the table saw integrated into it is a game changer for me. I've had it for a little while, and it, I'll never. If I had to go and redo it, I would just take a day, go buy my materials and just build this entire thing out, be done with it and go get myself a new miter saw and table saw because you can do so much stuff with this setup right here. And we're gonna go through it. A lot of this stuff is small, but some of this stuff is larger. I guess I do have a framing nailer in here because hammering nails, it's just not time, it's just, it's not worth it. Having a framing nailer, you can build out basements, you can, do, you can, you can frame, you can do stuff. Uh, I'm not putting any of my finished nailers in here because I mean, you could if you want to, but necessity wise, I would just cut that out of my inventory or my uh, services I would provide and just do, you know, framing. That's just me personally, not, it doesn't have to be you. If you're, all you do is finish, obviously you're not gonna have a framing nail. You're gonna have your 18 gauge. You're gonna have your, you know, whatever you want, 15 gauge if you're, you're doing interior doors and stuff like that. So uh, anyways, you got bits, you got the Milwaukee table saw, that's mine. Highly recommend a table saw if you guys don't have one. They're such a versatile tool because you you're gonna need to trim stuff down very short. And then even a track saw, there's things that a table saw can't or can do that a track saw really can't do very efficiently. And there's things that you know track saws can do very efficiently that table saws can't do efficiently, like basically break down sheet goods. Um, you can do it with a table saw, but just let's just face it, a uh, track saw is absolutely uh, the way to go on that. So, you know, your knives, your um, your small parts, and we're going to get to more small parts, but bit kits, oscillating tool. Uh, absolutely. Get yourself, I have three of these. So, oscillating tool is absolutely a must. Just get those, you know, you can cut into stuff, you can, you can bust stuff out. It's just, they're such a universal tool. Impacts, I have two here. Take your poison. I actually use the the uh, Dewalt more often than I do anything uh, the Milwaukee right now, just because I'm testing out the power stacks. Um, I do have a video. It might come out before this this video or after. Who knows? But uh, def definitely like the little miniature batteries. They're not really m made for this tool per se. All right, and uh, well, sunglasses are I guess eye pro, but I mean that's they're not really supposed to be there. And my Milwaukee 2853, trusty. I have like five or six. I don't, I don't know how many of these. Uh, but get yourself a quarter inch hex impact, fantastic. Uh, that they, they, they I've I've got plenty of videos on those too. Dr your hammer drill for obvious reasons. Yeah, I've got other fancy drills. I got rank, right angle drills. I've got um, whole hogs. You know, for if you're running electrical stuff like that, but. Your bare bones, like I would buy the regular hammer drill first because it's such a universal tool and there's a reason why it's one of the first cordless tools I think made. Uh, I think like, you know, NICAD, you know, drills, all that kind of stuff. So, and of course my rear handle, seven and a quarter inch DeWalt, flex volt. Like I said, I can, you can build an empire with this tool. Yeah, it's a, it's a, another saw, but you're not gonna be able to bring miter saws and table saws to a, like a, you know, on top, above an elevation, you you need a cut to do something to put in a rim joist or you're building decks and stuff. So you're gonna need a circular saw of some sort, make it a rear handle, fantastic tool, honestly. Um, I probably will be taking this to the grave with me. Like I say, that's how I feel about that anyway. So, and again, more bits, but you, you don't know how what you need until you need it. So get yourself like a crazy hooligan bit set 
that, sorry, I'm getting focus here, that will save your butt because you're going to come across something someday and you're like, damn, and it'll save you a trip like hours going to find something. So get yourself one of those. Um, <clears throat> yeah, dual bevel, comp dual bevel compound miter saw. All my tools are cordless. And what you're seeing straight in front of you here is a glow rod set, right? Let's see if it'll focus right there. Uh, pulling wire, pulling cable, pulling anything, fishing anything through walls is a great money maker. That is something I would buy right off the bat as well because you never know. Pulling cable is super easy and, and very lucrative. Light, you're gonna need light. Uh, I have a couple of these tower lights and behind me I'll go through some more lights and stuff with my hand tools, but get yourself some light. You're gonna need it. It's just a necessity. I would absolutely recommend it, no, no questions asked. And again, I already went through the Polk station, but again, you know, with the wings, you can cut at least eight foot material without actually having a second person hold it up for you. So that is the basic, these are not all power tools, but these are most of the power tools that I would have right off the bat. And I can do most every job that I do on a daily basis. You, you know, results may vary. You may, you know, want your finished nailers. You may want a paint sprayer. You may want a tile saw, something like that. But for me, uh, I can get most of my work done with that. So let's go over two i know it's not very good lighting i do have a video on this as well this is a veto pro pack uh double xl hand tools like get yourself some hand tools and then some of like some of the small things is like touch up for paint you know painting you got your bits you got your your wire strippers if you're doing any kind of electrical work you know you're gonna yourself a torpedo level hanging tvs anything really need to keep level really right your bits you're running anything you need to drill through pretty much whatever you need and some data scissors um, you learn how to run coax and data. It literally will make you a lot of money. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, paint, you know, paint can because you're going to do paint, obviously. And uh, for me, I I do do some electrical work, so my cable state, my Dewalt cable stapler saves me an infinite amount of time. These are actually come down in price, so I think it's like 180 bucks or something like that. First day, if I lost this tool, I'd just go buy it again. Honestly, it saves me so much time. Again, with light and you know your outlet tester and i have a few of them here but um who's gonna forget a tape measure come on guys like that's that's the nitty gritty i do have multiple obviously multiples of every of these tools but at the same time uh you need them and yeah, i'm i'm not gonna go through all the all the uh, small handy tools you're gonna need all your screwdrivers you're gonna need all your wire strippers wrenches tape drills you know all your sockets everything like that to mount anything you need to to mount uh it's just it's just part of the it's the nature of the game so with that being said all right so let's get into why i have more than what you saw just now and the pros and cons of it all right pros why do i have a tool trailer full of tools because of efficiency straight up uh the tool trailer not only hold, holds more tools it also can supply materials i have inventory uh you'll learn it's efficiency so yeah, I have a track saw because track saws are way more efficient breaking down uh, sheet goods, uh, intricate cuts, trying to you know cut down doors to make them fit over carpet. Really pain in the butt with um, with the table saw. So you're gonna run into jobs, and you will find that uh, you can make a job pay for itself or a tool pay for itself for a job. So you can price that tool into a job. And that's how I afford larger tools. And it's you might you know I wanted I wanted to go into more of the uh, track saw related stuff building cabinets it obviously i use a track saw to build my polk stations i will be building another polk station from start to finish documenting on this channel um so i'm in my basement right now so we're going to build a basement out so i'm going to have an entire polk station down here just dedicated just so when i build the basement out i can just not have to transport back and forth plus it's content for the channel so and also the tool trailer obviously it's more of an expense but um having you know having materials on hand having two by fours having nails small parts um, multiple of the same tool because again of efficiency some breaks down that's why i have multiple nailers um, and then you might find yourself where you expand where you will you know not only just do tile work or do just finish carpentry you might run into framing you might run into um it's drywall work other stuff you're going to expand which means more tools all that kind of stuff so and then once the tool is paid for it's an asset it's it's absolutely just it can sit there all those tools in my tool trader are paid for uh, nothing's I owe nothing on them and they can sit there and just collect dust but when I need them that's when they pay for that you know that's when they make me money again so keep that in mind once you have tools paid for like obviously my dump trailer 
my, <clears throat> my, my tool trailer, my truck, once those are paid for, they become assets and it's, it's, it's just that simple as far as business wise, you, you know, you gotta have money coming in and, and money makes, money is the blood of any business really, come on guys. So, uh, do I, is there tools that I don't, you know, I, that I would throw away or, and there's not many tools that I would throw away, but like my heat gun, I don't use much, my Milwaukee M18 heat gun, but there comes a time when I need it, when I'm rewiring my trailer because something happened or when I need a, you know, I'm trying to, you know, shrink wrap some stuff and it, it comes in handy and it's already paid for, it's, it's there. So, it, I mean, what, if I sold it, I'd get maybe a, a, a tenth or a, a quarter of what I would pay for it new. So, I mean, it's not really worth it, right? So, that's why I have a tool trailer full of tools, mostly efficiency. And, you know, I have a reason because of content for this channel. Plus, obviously, it makes me money. And again, it's made me money enough where it's paid for itself. Now I still need that tool trailer to pay for me, make more money for me before I can sell it. Um, just because of the amount of time I've invested in it and all the other things I've invested in it, the solar and all that kind of stuff anyway. So um, upgrades, of course, coming, coming to the channel, coming to the tool trailer, we're gonna be doing an upgrade obviously down the road, but I wanna make sure this is the last upgrade I need going forward period. So lots of planning for that. Like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. If you have any questions or anything like that, put them in the comment section below. Let me know what tools you would uh, put in this list, um, what you require on a daily basis, or if something happened and you lost everything, what tools you'd go straight up and go to the box store, to your local tool uh, vendor, and purchase right away just to make sure you keep going with production. So, appreciate it. Thank you.